take the example of the leader of a mountaineering expedition. You know, the entire team can sight only what they see around them. But the leader knows how to reach the peak. Similarly, the leader in the corporate world also has a vision. The very presence of the leader is an assurance for the whole team. You have ups and downs, difficult terrain, and you will need to negotiate different climatic conditions. Similarly, a leader too shows the way, negotiate the difficulties first, and sets an example. He leads by example. And the team has complete trust on the leader. So the challenges and ups and downs, the leader is always there to support his entire team. Whatever are the difficulties, he is there as a big assurance for the team. The team consists of different types of people. For example, in a mountaineering expedition, you have engineers, you have doctors, you have weather experts. Each one play their role. So similarly, the leader in a corporate world knows that every member have their role cut out. They have their role to play. Every member has to contribute. In the mountaineering expedition, one wrong move by one person could bring the entire team down. So, you know, it is said that the chain is as strong as its weakest link. The leader ensures that the whole team is in synergy and no one person can bring down the team. The leader knows how to motivate and inspire his whole team. He deals with compassion and with empathy. And he also knows when to show anger and when to be tough. Now the entire team has to succeed. In a mountaineering expedition, the leader would be happy only when the whole team scales the peak. Similarly, a true leader is happy only when every member in the whole team tastes success. And that is the true quality of a leader.